which volcano do you think is more dangerous? Itong Mayon Volcano or Taal Volcano? Hello everyone! We are now going to compare the two of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines and they are the Taal Volcano and the Mayon Volcano. Kaya, let's begin with the comparison starting off with Mayon Volcano. Mayon Volcano is the most active volcano in the Philippines with 50 known eruptive history. It has an elevation of 2,400 meters above sea level and the last eruption niya was no 2018, preferably no uh, January. Ayan, kaya tignan niyo dyan yung itsura ng Mayon Volcano. Kaya it is one of the most picturesque volcanoes in the world due to yung perfectly shaped na cone niya. Kaya ang dami nagpapapicture kapag pumunta sila sa Albay just to take a glimpse of the Mayon Volcano. And moving forward to the next is Taal Volcano. Ayan. So, as we all know, Taal Volcano is currently erupting and it is the second most active volcano um, just behind Mayon Volcano. And it has now 35 eruptive history, including the present. And the most interesting about Taal Volcano is that it sits within Lake Taal, which is also a caldera, caldera, I should say, with an elevation of um, siguro just above 300 meters above sea level. And now, ganyan yung itsura ng, ng Taal Volcano while it's erupting. Kaya, ang dami pong nag evacuate na nearby residents or inhabitants within the 14 kilometer radius na danger zone. Kaya, the volcano is now being monitored carefully by the FIVOX and the U.S. Geological Survey. And let's proceed with the deadliest eruption between the two volcanoes, starting with Mayon Volcano. In 1814, Mayon Volcano made an explosive eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 4. Kaya that is already a significant eruption because it destroyed the town of Kagsawa. And one of the most evident is the Kagsawa ruins that is already uh, considered as a tourist relic site dun sa Albay. And uh, one of the two na characteristics ng Mayon is yung ashfall and yung lava flow niya. Kaya talagang... And dami yung nasira na communities, mga bahay, mga properties, mga structures during that time. Proceeding with the Taal Volcano. And in 1911, Taal Volcano made a significant explosive eruption reaching a VA, VEI level of 3.7. And yung eruption niya is uh, Plinian. And nung nag ano yung ash column sa taas, Meron ding ash column sa base na nag-reach dun sa ano, dun sa shores, parang lateral na pa sideways na eruption na as in ang init, tapos parang binoil pa niya yung lake. And then, ang mga death toll, ang death toll niya is 1,300 people. Let's proceed with the unique characteristic. Mayon Volcano has a deadly characteristic when erupting in which it can release a pyroclastic material. Kaya, as you can see there, ayan, um, when never it will erupt, ay ganyan, nakakatakot yung pyroclastic flow because it can reach a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius with a speed of uh, as fast as 700 kilometers per hour. Kaya, sobrang bilis. If uh, you will be, ayun, pag matatabunan ka ng pyroclastic material, Instantly, maluluto ka, mababarbecue ka. Kaya, that is one of the most deadliest weapon of Mayon Volcano. And proceeding with the Taal Volcano, since it is smaller, yung kanyang pag-erupt uh, is Plinian. Plinian type na kung saan yung ash column, nag spread siya. And then, yung nag-spread na yan, may babags 
dyan na babagsak yung mga maiinit na bato. So, in that way, uh, hindi lang maiinit na bato, it also includes yung hot sulfuric na gas, tapos ang dami-dami pang gas na, na material na pwedeng uh, cause of death ng mga inhabitants. So, that is also one of the deadliest for the Taal Volcano, including yung mga uh, pagsamahin mo pa yung kanyang lateral explosion. Magsasabay yan. So, uh, sa impapawid din, and then on land. On air, and on land. Kaya, that is also one of the unique characteristics of Taal's eruption. The next is lava flow. Mayon Volcano has a deadlier lava flow because it is uh, it sits on the landmass kaya whenever it erupts it really unleashes a significant amount of lava that can reach nearby villages communities yung mga ganyan kaya mas delikado yung mayon volcano whenever it will spill out its lava and in comparison to taal volcano even if taal volcano releases a lava fountains Ang ano dyan, ang magiging scenario is it will not reach yung mga nearby communities because it will need to pass through the lake. Kaya mas deadlier yung lava lava flow ng Mayon Volcano kesa sa Taal. How about volcanic tsunami? Obviously, Mayon Volcano does not sit above the water or not surrounded by a water body of water. Kaya, walang volcanic tsunami na mag mangyayari if ever mayon volcano will erupt. However, in the case of Taal Volcano, it sits within its own caldera filled with water. Kaya, in any case na magkakaroon ng explosive eruption or magkakaroon ng landslide along its slopes, it can cause volcanic tsunami which is nangyari na noon. And, volcanic quakes. Mayon volcano can produce a significant significant amount of volcanic quakes whenever it is on its restive state. Kaya kapag as in nasa eruptive stage na ang Mayon Volcano, there are hundreds of quakes produced per day. However, it is not as destructive as Taal Volcano. Why? Because one of the secrets of Taal Volcano is to create fissures. Ayan, as you can see, um, yung mga towns of Lemery, yung mga nearby towns ng, ng Volcano Island, already produced several fissures that already destroyed homes, structures, or roads. Kaya, mas delikado yung paggawa ng volcanic quake ng Taal Volcano. And we have the size. Mayon Volcano is a mountain with an elevation of ayan, more than 2,400 meters above sea level. In comparison with Taal Volcano, it only elevates 300 meters above sea level and it sits within its own lake caldera. So it's, it is an island volcano. The only difference is the size of its caldera wherein Taal Volcano has a larger, larger crater. Ayan. Yung type naman ng eruption, Mayon Volcano is more of a Strombolian eruption. Although, meron siyang phreatic, magmatophreatic eruption, meron siyang mga medyo frequent yung lava fountain niya. Kaya, more on lava ang Mayon Volcano. And with the Taal Volcano, since it has a wider crater, yung bunganga niya, more siya sa, ano, sa um, ash, phreatic explosion, or plinian eruption, kaya mas more siya sa ash. And kapag sasabog yung Taal, talagang more ashfall yung, yung talagang mangyayari in nearby provinces um, as compared to Mayon Volcano, which is more siya sa lava flow. Ayan. So, with that characteristic or types or yung mga basic facts na I've already given, which do you think is really more dangerous between the two of the most active volcanoes in the Philippines? Is it Mayon Volcano or Taal Volcano? And if you want more updates from me, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel over here and here. Then, if you want to ask me questions, just reach me out in my Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. Just like and follow. That will be all. Thank you very much and have a nice day.